Here we go, a North Dakota opening day full of this. We sure didn't see much. No wonder they call this the Badlands. No birds, a pile of heat. What now? See him, Bill? Oh, yeah. Always have a hunting backup plan. The Flush, presented by Federal Ammunition. The Lakota, long ago referred to North Dakota's far western landscape as Makasika, the land of bad travel, a rather arid landscape, one of incredible color and contour, the dusty badlands where time, in many ways, stands still. I love this landscape. I love the recreational opportunities it affords me. It's what I spend my life doing. What a dirt bag. Dirt bag Dan. I've had, I've had the dirt bag moniker for a long time. You don't, you don't spend 100 nights in a camper a year and don't pick up the nickname dirt bag. Dan Bailey road tripped in his camper to meet us for North Dakota's Sharpie opener. Sharp-tailed grouse, native North American birds, their feathers camouflaged to blend in with native habitat and their chicken legs properly feathered to fend bitterly cold North Dakota wind chills. Opener, a morning of rituals. Not all of them good. Once again, I've screwed up the gloves. Dan and I gear up to walk the national grasslands. Public land open to hunters. That is a sad looking dog. Look at that face. Seriously, guys? Like, seriously? Yep, not all Dan's dogs walk first field. That's jungle. One of Dan's three wire-haired pointing Griffons, his current breed of choice. There's a group that deals with them out of Czechoslovakia, and they're like the Czech version, and then there's the Belgian ver version, and I have the Belgian version. Junger, he's, this is his 13th hunting season, and he's been one heck of a dog, and he's been just a workhorse, but that middle dog, Dell, this is his eighth hunting season. He, he jumped past Junger pretty quick, and Junger was a, to me, I thought it was the greatest dog. And then Sweet Numa, the young female who, my God, she's a sweet dog. She's, she's learning. She's as good at hunting as I am at training her right now, you know? You notice Dan's dogs tend to stay pretty close. They do not hunt overly fast either. I can walk all day, you know. 20,000 steps is no big deal. And those dogs will do it right there with me. We pick a wide open area with small pockets of cover. Peel around those bushes and get up on that top piece there. Oh, well why sharp tails? Because they're fun. They're native to this habitat. They are strong, they are smart. It takes you into these areas, you know, for the most part they hold really well for dogs. They're just a native bird too. And for us getting to chase native grouse on their native Rangeland is just as good as it gets. Until this happens. Who's your bird still? We sure didn't see much. I mean, we didn't see much sign. We didn't see any roosts. I think they'll just keep pushing along this and they come back down that side. This looks like more classic habitat for sharp-tailed grouse. But everywhere we walk, I'm not seeing sign. Dogs aren't getting hot. We're not sure what's up. Downtrodden. Never. Can't break my spirit. Ever. 
I'm gonna go hang out with you, Bill. He stayed out too late last night. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> no Sharpies, no Hungarian partridge, not even a flush by an out-of-season pheasant. You know what they say, they're boot leather birds. Boot leather. If this keeps up, Here's your bird. this will be an opener to remember <laughs> for all the wrong reasons. The Flush is brought to you by Federal Ammunition, Waltons, Rufflin Performance Kennels, Pheasants Forever, and by Benelli. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Start planning at hellond.com. Opening morning and zero birds makes us wonder if the rumors could be true. No travel advised, all the red counties. All the ingredients came together over the past 48 hours to develop this storm over the central part of the country. 20 plus inches of snow on the ground already with winds in excess of 50 miles per hour. In Two fact, April storms dumped four plus feet of snow around these parts. Kinda has us wondering if that weather killed off the birds. At least today's weather holds. Weather is going to be a factor on this trip. Opening morning is supposed to be like a high of 68 or 70 degrees, but Sunday and Monday temps are going to rise to like 90 degrees. For now, definitely pretty. We get to enjoy the view. I mean, my eye is drawn a lot to sort of the Badlandy parts of eastern Montana, and this is just like that on steroids. By afternoon, we're just kind of wondering if the birds are even around. We take any flush at this point. Oh, shit, there we Hey, 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 sell, sell. The birds flush wild, and dogs never even got a hint of scent. He's up. Sorry. That was great. I had a clean shot. I hadn't put my shells back in. With that, we'll see those birds again. Day one goes in the books. <laughs> Think sleep it off and game plan for day number two. We're gonna try again this morning. It's tough. You know they're there. These are native birds with a lot of thermal cover and there's a lot of food and a couple winter storms in April aren't gonna knock them back to nothing. Dan's insight proves so astute. There you go. No. Hear him. I can't see him. I can't see him at all. God, I couldn't see him. So you'd think that grove of trees. Do you want to loop? Just do it from here. We get the sun at our backs and go. It's a good cover. Dell's on point here. Bill coming at you. Bill coming at you. Good birds. Oh, Junger's got it. Look at it coming out with it. Look at the old man. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, uh, Dan. Did you just shoot two? I did. Made up for yesterday. Where's your birds? What? I don't care. Let's do it again. Sorry. Sorry. Don't touch me. I swear to God, don't touch me. I apologize. You're better than me. But, um, great job. Why do I have to make an excuse? Can't I just miss? No, absolutely not. Right. Really, Dan? That's how you're gonna roll? I remember this one time. Oh my God. I shot over him twice. 
Whatever. I won't go there. Single. And all of a sudden, the hunt that seemed like maybe it was going to be a mess <laughs> becomes an absolute hit. What do you smell? Here we go. That's not supposed to happen the second day of the season. Well, by God, at least there's a cubby here. There goes another one. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one that went behind us? Yeah, I never saw, I couldn't see if it crested a ridge or, what was that? That's six that got up at the beginning and then another five kind of popping out of here. At least. Oh my God. It's a whole, well, that's a different draw. Watch them. Watch them. It is in moments like this that we appreciate the where and especially the what of these hunts. That last one was a uh, ring neck. I didn't shoot at it. <laughs> little guy. Give me a little guy. What? Yeah. What is that? It's the young of the year. You beat me up. I take the only bird out of the. Oh, it's a, look at how tiny that thing is, man. <laughs> wow, baby chicken. Let me see. It'll be tasty. These birds showed up just in time. Sweltering summer-like temps put an almost immediate kibosh on our hunt. <laughs> what now? The Flush is brought to you by Nutrisource, Aluma Trailers, Big Timber Fasteners, DeWalt, and by North Dakota Tourism. Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever are on a mission to help bird hunters like us find more wild birds on public land. Join Pheasants Forever or Quail Forever today and your $35 membership will help us to create more wildlife habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Your investment will go right back into the ground making a difference today that will last forever. All right, what's our game plan? We're letting the old man out in the heat. Hope I don't regret it. Who, me or Junger? <laughs> Old Mother Nature, she ain't exactly our friend. So it's frustrating. We finally figured the birds out, but now temperatures are starting to get so hot, it is just not safe to hunt the dogs. Before breakfast wraps up, it's the coldest sparkling water I've ever had. We shut down the grouse hunt. Hot, real hot. You can burn a dog up, you can hurt him and you can be without a good dog for a whole hunting season. You have to adapt, so we have an idea. Can I put on a dove hat? What? I love it. What? This is gonna be fun. Sage and breaker, she's a little dusty. I'm only taking two. You're gonna take three. You're gonna need them. No. Dude. We think the roost is this way, we think the food source is here with the water, and if we can park in the middle, maybe we'll get some pass shooting. How happy are you right now? So happy. This is great. Oh, here, two coming, two coming in front of us here. See them, Bill? I can't shoot sitting down. I really can't. Oh, for two, I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go on a 13 for 15 here. Oh yeah. Damn! Oh, where'd that even go? I think I took my head off. We got one. 11 to go. This is what opening weekend is all about. Really fun dove hunt. Too far. Bill would have shot at those. Yeah, I would. And guess what? I'd hit them too. How did we start this morning? Cold, cold, 37 degrees. 
Now I bet it's pushing 90. It's been a long time since I'd sat there and cycled that many shells through the gun, and it's kind of humbling. Bill. Not very good at this. Good thing there's that DiGiorno. Again. This one's gonna sink. So full of lead. Oh, long shot. Can he go two for two? Yeah, he can go two for two. Nice job, Bill. Oh, persistence. We're gonna we're gonna get a meal anyway. We're gonna get smart 100 percent and fun 1,000 percent. This is awesome. Got no shells. Did it land in the road? Nope, in the ditch. I am having a blast. Woo, what a shot. That was bad. What's your problem? Nice. By God, I think we made the best choice there was. When one door closes. Got him. Dove season opens up. Back on. That was fun. That was a great way to spend an afternoon in North Dakota. That was, that was a kick. I'm glad we did that. Can't wait to eat these things. The Flush is brought to you by Chief Upland, Southwire Tools and Equipment, Wells Lamont Gloves, DeWalt Utility and Sump Pumps, and by the Greeny Cases. If you love bird hunting, dog training, and hearing amazing stories from the field, then we invite you to join us each week for brand new episodes of the Flush Podcast. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. Dan Bailey and I clean up to cook a little post-hunt din-din and act dear to Dan's heart. Oh, you know, just the typical dove, you know, picked out doves with, uh, normally it's jalapeno, but we didn't have any, so we're gonna do pepperoncini and a little, little wrap of bacon. And my parents used to host these big dove hunting parties over Labor Day weekend up at a cabin we had, and we would cook hundreds of these things. We're gonna throw them on the grill. I mean, these doves, they were flying about, <laughs> um, about an hour ago. He's, he is locked in. He knows what's up. Old trusty Junger is always here. Anytime I cook, if there's one more piece of bacon than there is doves, he's, he knows he's getting them. Sharpies and doves for the grill. This is the best part about hunting this wild game. These are, these Sharpies are wrapped in prosciutto and are a little more delicate. This is why we take these trips. It's the unknown. It's being with your best buddies. It's gonna be very, very good. It's not gonna be as good as those cheesy vegetables, but I'm hoping they accompany the cheesy vegetables pretty well. What's wrong with you? I think you... We do TV shows, but social media is very important. No agenda, no nothing. Just come out for me, see a brand new spot, and just had a blast. Too much food and drink. Enough to knock a guy out until sunrise. Hunt down through this and then come back up. 
This morning, we gear up for one last hike. Don't be mad. lot of dust in this territory. One last push before heat shuts down our last day. These wild plum. They're huge. What is that? I have no idea. The plum? We're <laughs> getting real sick. I mean, we're eating wild plums and rose hips the size of marbles, and it's just a beautiful landscape. This is kind of the national grassland and the Badlands region. The scenery here is just unbelievable. You put a plow to that, that's not coming back. What hasn't been torn up or what hasn't been impacted, 100% needs to be protected. It's worth protecting and making better, not just protecting, but making better for future generations. Here, is one reason why. There go more there. Jumpy. There's got to be another one here. Jumpy. That's just amazing. There must have been 20 birds that jumped out of there. Bell's on point here. I mean, this is my favorite thing to do. I mean, you know, it's, it's what I like to spend my time doing, which is chasing birds. I too hope I can always do this, especially with my friends. The memories we make in the Badlands. <laughs> so darn good. Getting out here, hanging out with you guys, it was utterly a great time. <laughs>